LT. See here I am writing can wait, will not say a process which is ready to run will wait indefinitely. No, that, that is not always true that a process which is having a low priority but will always wait for indefinite amount of time. No, sometimes it can wait, sometimes it will be uh, the CPU would be allocated to that process. So here you, you will write it can wait, you will not write it will wait. Okay. Now why, why uh, this process will wait because, because of some high priority processes because in priority scheduling uh, CPU would be located to the processes which are having high priority okay now maybe uh, there is a there is a situation where many high priority processes are there are coming in the uh, system so CPU would be allocated to those processes rather than a uh, rather than a process which is having low priority so you can say uh, that high priority processes prevent a low priority process from ever getting the CPU. Why starvation problem is there? Because of high priority processes prevents a low priority process from ever getting the CPU. This is what the starvation problem is. Now let us take this example. Suppose we have four uh, processes. Burst time of these processes and priority of these processes are uh, these processes is given 21, 5 and 2. So first of all this uh, uh, suppose we are taking lesser the number higher the priority means one this is having the highest priority and this process is having lowest priority. Now the CPU would be allocated to this process first okay P2 then this P4 then this P3 and after that, that this P1 but see this is we are taking static four processes but in, when you are working on your laptop or in the operating system that is not always true. See, is it true that we have if we have four processes running in your processor, then until the termination of these four processes, no new process will come? No, that is not always true. So, what the practical scenario is? Maybe processor has been allocated to this process P two. Fine. From zero, burst time is five, five from zero to five. Then this P four from five, burst time is forty. Then forty five. And maybe again this then this P3 for two units of time that is 47 something like this and some some point of time at some point of time uh, uh, before uh, the P1 is allocated to this CPU some another process P5 comes with a priority number 3 then CPU would be allocated to this P5 but more process come P6 with priority number 4 one more process comes P7 with priority number 7. So many processes are coming, coming and coming with priority higher than this P1, the number less than 20 having priority from 0 to 90, fine, many processes are coming. So, so this P1 would not get CPU and we cannot say for how much amount of time. So you can say that P1 will wait indefinitely, although this P1 is ready to run, P1 is in uh, ready queue suppose if you are taking the arrival time so you can take the arrival time also so p1 is ready to run p1 is in ready queue but p1 is waiting why p1 is waiting because higher priority processes are coming and cpu is biased because of this priority scheduling so cpu would be allocated to the processes having higher priority and that is why this p1 is waiting so this is known as starvation p1 has to wait for indefinite amount of time now the solution of this problem is solution is what aging so what this aging technique is it gradually increase the priority of the processes priority of those processes which are waiting in the system for a long amount of time fine or you can say that it it is a method to ensure that processes with lower priority will eventually complete their execution and how how they'll complete their execution see suppose uh, uh, here in this example suppose at some point of time this this priority becomes maybe uh, zero or one you can say then ultimately this p1 will get the cpu at some point of time fine so this is the fundine aging we 
you know gradually increase the priority of the processes which are in waiting state for a long amount of time here increasing the priority means see we are taking lesser the number higher the priority so increasing the priority means we decrease this number from 20 to 19 then 18 then 17 something like this till zero so there may be a case they can give that after every three unit of time in the cpu the priority of the process will be increased by one so if it is given that uh, in your uh, question after every three unit of time of the cpu priority of the waiting processes will decrease by one see here why i am writing this decrease because i am taking lesser the number higher the priority so if you decrease this 20 and you do this 19 then obviously you can say that priority is ultimately increasing if you are taking the case that higher the number higher the priority then you can write that uh, the after every three unit of time of cpu priority number of the waiting processes will increase by one something like this okay now see suppose at one uh, some point of time uh, that uh, priority is 20 so after three unit of time priority becomes 19 because it will be decreased by one or ultimately you can say priority is increased because we are taking lesser the number higher the priority then after three unit of time it will become 18 then again after three unit of time it will become 17 see this three unit of time means maybe some other processes are running in the cpu while you are drawing a gantt chart then you will draw more processes which are coming having higher priority than this 20 the those processes are running and uh, with the execution of those processes the priority of this process is increasing so after three unit of time this becomes 16 then three unit of time it becomes 15 like this and ultimately at some point of time maybe this priority uh, will be zero so ultimately when priority will be zero then that process is at that point of time this p1 will be of having the highest priority so p1 will ultimately get the cpu this is the funda of aging see this aging uh, technique can be implemented in many ways but both are having uh, the same principle and what that principle is that the priority of the processes should increase when the process waits in the system okay so see here i'm taking the priority of the waiting processes will be increased by one i have written priority of the processes will decrease by one why i have written this decrease by one because see this priority if we decrease this priority 20 to 19 then ultimately uh, the, what we can say is because here the assumption is lesser the number higher the priority fine so if the number is priority is 19 it means the priority has been increased by one ultimately that is the case here if it is written that higher the number and higher the priority then then you will see that then you can uh, write here that the priority of waiting processes will increase by one means 20 to 21 ultimately 21 is having higher priority than the 20 okay so uh, sometimes they can also say that priority of running processes as well as waiting processes will be increased maybe by some amount, some amount of time by one or two but here we are taking just the case the priority of waiting processes only increases okay so you have to take care of that thing also maybe in question they can give priority of running processes will be increased by one and priority of waiting processes will be increased by two something like this okay that is the case but the simple funda is the you know that main main funda is that the priority always the priority of the process who are ready to run but who wait, who are waiting for the cpu then the priority of those processes will be increased fine and uh, the starvation is different from convoy effect convoy effect comes in first come first serve and this starvation problem comes in shortage of first scheduling algorithm and priority scheduling algorithm so i have discussed the difference between convoy effect and starvation problem uh, the, the starvation problem very nicely in the one of my previous video i'll provide you the link in the description box you can check it out there okay so i'll see you in the next video till then bye bye take care